What do we chat? What what is that? What is what is that chat? Oh my goodness. I almost fell out of my chair this morning when I saw this. It made me so happy. It so happy. This is validation. I'm like, ah. Now, what you're seeing here is a ceramic tipped Vywood's pin. I would argue to say this is why they changed the look of their new pin. I would say this is exactly why they changed the look. And I, I blasted them for changing the pin. This is the, oh, uh, that's not the old pin. You guys remember the old Vywood's pin. I love that pin. That pin's way better than this piece of trash right here. But you throw a ceramic nib at the end of that nasty pin. Uh, now you got some, you got some good nastiness. It's nasty, but it's also good. It's both. But companies love the work I'm doing. They love the index, they love the standardized methods I'm using. Vywoods does. And at least one other company does too that I can't talk about right now, but we'll get there. So, no, Vywoods is not using my nib, Aaron. <laughs> that video got no love. Companies loved it though. Companies loved it. So when I was talking about the new Vywoods pen a while back and I was like, I don't know if I can talk about this. Well, this was it. <laughs> <laughs> this was the one the crap they sent me was not what I was talking about <laughs> which is why I blasted it I'm like this is not what we were talking about why did they send me this trash anyway so companies cared about that data I was putting out I got reached out to by two people like oh yeah so what instrument were you using because they understand the data when you're using standardized data People understand it. They don't have to be like, oh, this guy used a light box to do that. Oh, he took a pencil with lead. He scratched it across the screen and then he took the fragments of the lead that was left over on the screen. He measured them against the weight of the pen before the fragments fell off. And from that measurement, he got the friction. Vywood's doing this is validation. They understand that ceramic doesn't damage nibs like some crazy people on the internet are saying. Oh, you can't use ceramic on that. It'll damage it. And we, uh, you can only do it on super note because they have the stuff. Shut up. <laughs> Just shut up. <laughs> Here. <laughs> I've, I love this because it's validation. It's like, Roderick, okay, cool. What you've been spewing, the data you've been collecting, people care about that. A lot of people don't, but some people do. Okay. All right. That was my... How many people did I lose just now? A lot. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it is a spicy Wednesday. <laughs> it's taco. I'm about to say it's taco Tuesday, but it's Wednesday. Man, I, I just, I, it, this is validation for me. I love validation. It, it allows me to talk even more crap because the haters can't say nothing. All they can say is, oh, he was right and I hate him for it. Yeah, haters hate me. I'm right. <laughs> Chew on that humble pie, haters. <laughs> that humble pie is good at 10 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> For real. <laughs> a lot of these films are a, a lot alike. They, they are different, but a lot of them are a lot of like. And the fact that you can use that a company feels safe making a ceramic nib pin for this device with with a film that's very similar to a lot of other devices says that you will be able to use that ceramic nib on those other devices like the go 10.3 like the note air 4c like the like the new pin star this is a huge step for ceramic as a viable option for your stylus your wacom stylus now just so happens that this comes at a time when someone is already making um, ceramic nibs for any EMR device. Okay, let's go to ransomaboutech.com. Oh boy, yeah. Let's go to ransomaboutech.com, shall we? So you go to ransomaboutech.com, you go to the site, you go to the shop. Uh, we got ceramic nibs right here. Ceramic nibs right on the shop for you. Um, crystal nibs are sold out. They're coming though. We're, we're going to get those back in here soon. 
But we got super no ceramic nibs that will fit most EMR styli right now. So if you want ceramic now on in your standard EMR pin, you can have it. Rantabaltech.com, check out the modified ceramic nib. Uh, I haven't, the only pins, this won't fit in. It won't fit in a, a Norris Digital Jumbo. Any any kind of, any pin that fits a Norris Digital Jumbo nib won't, this, this won't fit. But that is one of the only pins that I know of that this won't work in. There's, there's maybe a couple more. But for the majority of EMR pins, this works for. And I have, um, I've used them in all of my pins before. Uh, they've all worked. And I have the Lamy. I have, what are the pins I have? Let's check it out. I've put, I've put that Super Note Ceramic in. Let's check it out. I've put that Super Note Ceramic in all of these pins. So I've had Super Note Ceramic in the Lamy here. Obviously, this is a Super Note pen. Ceramic isn't here. It works perfectly. Um, this is an E Note pen. Though you can't use this pen on any other device except the E Note, I have put the ceramic nib in here. This piece of landfill trash right here, I've even put a Super Note nib in here. Um, the Remarkable pen, I put ceramic in here and it works. This is a rectangular pen from, from Onyx, probably the best pen Onyx makes. Ergonomic, feels good. You know what I don't like though? It writes really light like the Lamy does. Um, but the Lamy I'm, I'm cool with because of the ergonomics, the build quality, and the fact that it has a button. I can't forgive this for writing light because it don't have a button. It ain't very ergonomic. I mean, it's more ergonomic than this piece of landfill trash right here. <laughs> it's way more ergonomic than this.